Aaron with anetcomputers.com with another video for you today. Starlink is going to provide remote direct to sell service, which is, is basically cellular service in remote locations. You might be wondering how do you contact Starlink support? This video deals with how to contact Starlink technical support. Now, I don't know if it's intentional, but it, it can be quite difficult to contact them and I'm going to tell you how you can contact them. First thing I want to point out is that it's written in their terms of service. This is directly from the source which is starlink.com. Yes it is. It says right here customer support is available for the services and the kits on the Starlink customer portal and their support website which is support.starlink.com and it's for customers who have signed in who have signed in, who have signed in to the customer portal. Now, it, it stipulates support over the telephone. I could be wrong, but I do not think they have a customer support telephone number. I think they have a callback feature. How do you receive technical support then? What you do is, number one, you want to create a Starlink account. Number two, you want to log into your account, and then you can browse to support.starlink.com, but you think that it's that easy? No. Here are some further instructions to then contact Starlink. What you want to do is, once you log in, now you can contact support two different ways. Over the web-based interface, support.starlink.com, log into your Starlink portal account and also the smartphone application however even with the smartphone application you must be logged into your account otherwise you will not be able to contact their technical support you know what I'm saying this is a demonstration of the web based so you just browse to support.starlink.com uniform resource lo locator highlighted on screen then you can either search for an issue or you can just pick one as example, troubleshooting slow speeds, and then I've got the Starlink router, main router. Now, then you see this article, right? Well, I'm not logged in because I do not have a Starlink account. If you're logged in with your Starlink account, you should see a thumbs down. I believe it or not, this is what you have to do for now. You should see a thumbs down icon. Now, when you hit in the Starlink application, on Apple iPhone operating system and Google Android, when you tap the thumbs down icon, it will take you to a support ticket request form. On the web based interface, it will bring you to contact support. So you'll click on the, the thumbs down and it'll take you to a prompt to contact Starlink support. And then I think you then click on contact support, all right? So that's a way that you can contact Starlink, you know, customer support, technical support. This is another maybe quicker way. You can browse to this uniform resource locator highlighted on screen. Just type that into the address bar of your web browser, support.starlink.com slash create dash support dash ticket, right? Now, again, you have to log in, and when, if you were to hit enter, you're going to see the Uniform Resource Locator become gargantuan. It's going to just have all kinds of characters and blah, blah, blah. That is normal. I just shorten it for you. You know what I'm saying? But you have to log into your Starlink portal account. Otherwise, you will not be able to contact them. But this is, I, I haven't, you know, I don't have an account, but this is a legitimate Uniform Resource Locator from Starlink.com. And it has create support ticket. All right. Now, a third way, this is not necessarily to contact the Starlink technical support and not even the customer support. This is another way to contact them. You could email them at starlinkresolutions at spacex.com. That is, you can just type that email address in, you know. No spelling mistakes. You know, you can't forget the at sign. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's say you have an account. You have a Starlink portal account, but you're having problems with the password reset or you can't create an account. Then I think you might be able to email them. 
Maybe you have, maybe you ordered a Starlink kit and you haven't received it. And since you don't have a portal account, then you could email them. Now, here is a caveat mTOR. According to what I've studied, if you pre order, you cannot contact them because I think pre orders, they, they don't allow you. I, I could be wrong, but I don't think with pre order, you can actually contact their support because I don't think that you can create a portal account or some, something like that. When I studied, I found out that, that and they do stipulate it, I think, somewhere, where if, if it's a pre-order, yeah, you can't even contact them, but you could still try to email them and then ask for a status update or, you know what I mean? Okay, that is it. That is how to contact Starlink technical support it's basically the same thing customer support technical support so you either use the web-based interface and follow my instruction previously in this video or you use the smartphone application now the instructions are just a little bit different I just I did go over them you know what I'm saying but both of them require that you create a Starlink portal account and then that you log into the Starlink portal account. That's it. This is just, oops, I can close that. This is just a little bit of overtime. Yeah, I just don't have a whole lot here. Now, as far as the Starlink direct to sell, it's, it's basically cellular service. It's remote. It won't be available quite yet, but as a YouTube content creator with over a decade of experience, sometimes you have to record videos in advance. This service isn't really technically available yet, but it will be. They already have this page, direct.starlink.com. And what it allows you to do is to receive text, voice, and data for smartphones that are compatible with LTE. They, they claim remote, you know what I'm saying? And then you'll be able to text. You'll be able to make telephone calls. You'll be able to surf the Internet with, and have a data plan. And then... The Internet of Stupid Things, I mean, the Internet of Things also, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a fan of the Internet of, of Things. It, it works with, with existing tele, smartphones that are compatible with LTE. Now, you have to have a line of sight, is what they claim. You have to be able to see the sky. I'm not sure if that means if it's cloudy or... That's what I'm assuming. On a cloudy day, I'm not 100% certain. You do not need an app application or anything. No... Anything for... That's my eight minutes. My eight minutes are up. Anything else about this service? It's a cell phone tower in space. This is what it's going to... It's Starlink. It's... You know what I'm saying? They have some kind of advanced modem on board. Now you have to have the satellite, obviously. Well, no, wait a minute. They're just they're just d discussing the their satellite. But you have but you have to have their service. I can't tell you how much it costs. You know what I'm saying? I just couldn't tell you that right now. All right, that was my video pertaining to how to contact. Starlink technical support, customer support, basically the same thing. And I just added a few details about their cellular service. You can always browse to anacomputers.com to fix your most common computer problems. You can also find out where I am available on other platforms. YouTube, youtube.com slash anacomputers. You can always subscribe to my YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Rumble, Twitch.tv and Trovo.live. Adios.